One kind of class action authorized under the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure is a limited fund mandatory class action, which aggregates claims by numerous claimants against a fund that's insufficient to pay them all. The classic application involves a bank account or sale proceeds. Claimants may not opt out because satisfying individual claims from the limited available assets would necessarily deprive other claimants of recovery. Asbestos manufacturers, facing seemingly unlimited claims with finite resources, hoped this kind of class action might allow for resolving thousands of cases at once. In Ortiz v. Fiberboard Corporation, the Supreme Court considered whether to permit this approach. Fiberboard, a manufacturer of asbestos products, faced thousands of personal injury claims arising from asbestos exposure. Simultaneously, Fiberboard was litigating with its insurers over coverage for asbestos claims. Fiberboard, its insurers, and the attorneys for several plaintiff groups reached a global settlement agreement establishing a fund of more than $1.5 billion to settle present and future claims against Fiberboard. Fiberboard contributed $10 million, and its insurers paid the rest. A separate agreement settled currently pending cases. To implement the global settlement, several named plaintiffs, including Esteban Ortiz, filed suit to certify a mandatory settlement class covering those with present claims who hadn't already sued, those who'd withdrawn existing claims without prejudice, and all past, present, and future relatives of class members exposed to fiberboard asbestos. The complaint asserted a limited fund theory under Federal Rule of Civil Procedure 23B1B, arguing that the Global Settlement Fund represented the extent of the money available to pay potential plaintiffs. The district court permitted objecting potential class members to intervene. After a hearing, the district court certified the class and approved the Global Settlement Agreement. The Fifth Circuit affirmed. The Supreme Court granted cert.